hello lovely people welcome once again to the Kama Gardens YouTube channel if you are new here you are most definitely welcome if you have already been on this journey with us thank you so much make sure to subscribe like this video share it with your friends and family make sure you're in the comment sections with all your questions and we'll make sure to attend to them accordingly thank you so much and today in this video we are going to be talking about basic planting media so basically when i talk about media we are going to talk about okay so we find ourselves in ghana so in ghana it would, it would be put as planting soil but soil is not the only thing for planting so we are going to be talking about other things that are equally essential in gardening i believe that if we could get the basics right then we would be avoiding lots of challenges when it comes to our uh, gardening at home. So to go right into it, um, you can see I have quite a number of um, media sitting before this me. Is the very first I'll be introducing to you. This is black soil as we locally call it or um, clay loam or sandy loam depending on where it's been gotten or sourced from then you can be 100 percent sure what to call it but locally we call this black soil so basically this is what we know for home gardening in our homes and this is what everybody is accustomed to and uses as the number one or basic medium for planting in ghana so this is it black soil Usually you should um, ensure that your black soil is rich enough. You could actually tell by looking at the surface and also telling the components you see. You're likely to see decaying organic matter, dead plants and leaves as you see here in your black soil. So this is the basic or primary potting media we are accustomed to in Ghana. and. For urban dwellers who are trying to do container gardening, this is also one of the essential things you can always add to your potting media when planting. Okay, so the next one I have here with me is poultry manure. Now, um, poultry manure is perfect if you know how to use it right. This very one you see here is super decayed, like it doesn't smell i could i could almost eat this doesn't smell no worms whatsoever this is 100 percent decayed organic poultry manure and i'll be sharing with you in the videos to come the importance of this but basically this is to enrich your soil with the nutrients for plants to grow so there are levels or there are stages where you would require it in your journey of growing edibles either fruits vegetable herbs i i personally love this for herbs I, I do organic gardening and then i do not do any other manure aside using um compost and poultry manure that is what i have easily available to me so i use it a lot but then there are so many stories or yes so many stories about poultry manure and the fact that um it destroys plants in subsequent videos we would be looking at how best to use it such that it does not destroy plants but the basic thing with poultry manure is before you introduce poultry manure to your plants be 100 percent sure of the source and make sure that it is 100 percent decomposed very well decomposed such that it does not smell fully dry and broken into very small bits as you can see I, it barely smells i could eat this if i'm asked to and when it is fully decomposed you're 100 percent rest assured that it will not cause your plants to burn instead it will rather boost growth in your edible garden and then this is definitely a must have i'll be sharing so many things on it in our subsequent videos but for today i just want you to know that this is a must have for your home garden it has so many amazing benefits like i can't tell it all but then i hope to share more light on it when i'm recording another video or talking about how i use 
this in particular but just know that this is mainly for adding nutrients to the soil and it improves plant growth when you use the right way emphasis on when you use the right way so another very another very important planting media that you need in your home garden is neem cake so this is extracted from the seeds and other parts of the neem tree now this is a must-have if you want to be comfortable doing organic gardening the neem is a must-have either neem oil neem powder or the neem cake but i use the neem cake most of the time because it's, it serves as like the basics for me so what i usually do is when i'm making potting mix for containers to grow edibles or even if you are growing on bare land that is if you have enough land space it is very essential to mix the neem cake with your potting mix and on bare ground either sprinkle it on bare ground before you do any major planting now neem is known to help eradicate pests so you want to reduce the issues of pests affecting your plants the organic way using extracts of neem especially the neem cake and another thing with neem is that aside the fact that it is serving as a pesticide it is very good in the treatment of nematodes so if you are growing the likes of carrots tomatoes then you definitely must have neem cake in your potting mix another reason i love neem cake is aside using it to treat pests it is an excellent fertilizer so if you are using just ordinary black soil you could always add a bit of neem cake to add, which would introduce nutrients to the soil and ensure that you have perfect growth with your plants so here with me is compost as you can see rich dark plant chocolatey compost okay so this is also another um, planting media so there are situations where you could use just this in growing your plants because basically this is just gotten from a bit of black regular black soil with decomposed organic matter etc and this is processed and well aired and dried it has no smell and it's it's perfect like as you can see i'm using my my right hand through it it doesn't smell it looks much like soil so if you are not too sure you may even confuse it as soil and personally i like it because it is very mild on plants well usually i like to compare this to the poultry manual so i like to use poultry manual when the plant is fully established in the roots and has no issues with um being um, establishment because when it's fully established poultry manure seems to be the lifesaver especially for people who are not sure how much of poultry manure to use use it only when plants are fully established and you now want to be given the manure to boost growth now for the compost because it is mild and gentle on plants even a newbie or anybody trying gardening for the first time can use it unlike the poultry manure where i usually advise that if you are not too good or too sure about what to do with it don't try it so with the compost you can mix that with your soil and then usually um even for seed starting if your soil is not too good and um, you can mix this a bit of the neem cake a bit of the black soil to start your seeds and it is very helpful because it is very as much as it introduces nutrients to your potting mix or your planting media it is equally very gentle in doing that process so next i have river sand river sand river sand you can see it's almost like sea sand but then you know sea sand has much of salt so river sand is ideal for home gardening purposes now i'm just this is like i said this is just to show you the basics when it comes to what is readily available in ghana for you to use in your home garden so river sand is an essential like there are plants that you can easily nurse using um, using their cuttings that would instantly root almost instantly take root when you use river sand instead of regular 
black soil or potting mix i'll be doing various videos on those plants and, and and some of those plants i won't mention them now but some of those plants are uh, a big challenge for lots of people to nest especially by cuttings but i realized that when you use river sun it's very very easy to nest them so if you are thinking of multiplying your already existing herbs vegetables and some others especially for some herbs yes river sun is a must have and then aside even herbs there are other plants that do better they are indoor plants and some um house plants that do better in river sand as compared to they thriving in black soil yes so one of the must-haves is definitely river sand and in other videos i'll be teaching you the importance of river sand and how to use them to achieve maximum results and high yields with some particular plants So the next one I have here is Pellite. I think one of my favorites lately. So Pellite is gotten from volcanic eruptions. Yes, Pellite is gotten from volcanic eruptions. And it's lightweight and it's usually added to potting mix or planting medias as an agent of aeration it helps with aeration so if you want to ensure that your plants have perfect aeration then perlite is definitely a must-have if you don't know what it is just know that the basic thing it does is to help with aeration in your potting or planting medium especially for those that are in urban centers where you don't have ground space and you want to do container gardening you cannot I repeat not that you cannot, but then it is overly essential to have perlite because perlite makes your potting mix very easy to deal with. Perfect aeration, perfect air spaces, making the roots breathe perfectly. And like I said, <laughs> perlite is just perfection for me. So for perfect aeration in your potting mix, in planting medium, in your seed certain soils, you always want to consider perlite there's another which is vermiculite but we'll talk about that in this video today and if you are wondering the ratio of how to mix all these things to use them for your containers and for growing your herbs veggies and the like i'll put that in the description so make sure to read everything in the description it would have all the necessary information you require now another baby here is charcoal powder so we all know charcoal so when you go to any local um, charcoal seller or local market and then you just ask them for the the powder of the charcoal yes they usually even gather them and throw away so you could always go to anybody at all that sells charcoal and then get a bit of charcoal powder so charcoal powder just like perlite usually this is cheaper because in ghana here you may not even have to buy this you could always walk to any charcoal seller and then you can be gifted some charcoal powder but perlite cost much more as compared to charcoal powder which is also another media good for aeration so if you are doing your own small home garden you want to consider adding charcoal powder to the mix because charcoal powder helps with aeration aeration is very important if you are growing in containers because in containers you are already um, inhibiting movement of the roots so you want the roots to feel free and to be able to have your plants grow better then there are media or there are things that you require to make your soil come out not only rich in nutrients but then well aerated to promote good okay so the last one i have for today is cocoa peat so peat this very one is from coconut hacks so it's called cocoa peat this you can get locally to buy um even though they're imported ones but yes i always say we should support the local market people and and it's important the source you buy cocoa peat from because cocoa peat the coconuts usually people use the hacks people use in ghana here are from coastal areas where we have lots of salts yes you know our coastal area has lots of salt at the beaches and also you want to be sure that you are sourcing your peat from the right place such that your peat is 
salt free if not 100 percent at least to a level where it does not affect plant growth so i'll put it in the description where you can get the right cocoa peat and most importantly as an affordable price so cocoa peat i love it's not only for aeration Aside the fact that it makes your potting mix um, lightweight, cocoa peat is amazing for water retention. So if you're like me and you almost always don't have time to water your plants, then you want to ensure that your potting mix has some cocoa peat. Because unlike just regular soil here that may require everyday watering, the moment you introduce cocoa peat to your planting medium or to your potting mix, you are 100% assured that the cocoa peat helps with water or moisture retention. And this is so essential for your plants. You do not want your plants to be lacking water or moisture because they need that for growth. It is an essential part of plant growth. And so if you decide to get the individual media and um, mix at home for your use at home, you should know exactly what to do. But then I usually use two parts of cocoa peat to one part of black soil to one part of charcoal then just about a handful of neem cake then one part of compost and these are the basic things we mix for our container gardening i usually use the perlite when i'm starting seeds or i'm i'm doing more of nursery work because um, again, in terms of pricing, that is pretty much expensive as compared to the others that are perfect for aeration like the charcoal powder. So when I'm doing big containers and all, I want to use the charcoal powder. But then if I'm doing nursery and seed starting, I go with the perlite and the cocoa peat instead of cocoa peat and charcoal powder that is for big containers for your vegetables, your herbs, etc. And then like I stated with the, um, the river sand, I mainly use it for some particular herbs which i'll talk about in other videos but then it is it is a must have trust me if you find out the things this could be used for you will definitely consider having it in your garden so yeah that is it for today thank you all so much for watching let me know what you think let us know what videos you would like to see in the comment section and we promise to give you content that will be meaningful to you so once again we have compost we have neem cake we have what is this what is this we have poultry manure then we have our river sand we have perlite in here then we have our charcoal powder we have our black soil and we have cocoa peas so these are basic things that you should consider getting if you are trying to start home gardening or container gardening and they'll be so useful to your garden thank you so much for watching and make sure to like this video make sure to subscribe make sure to share and have all your friends and family members follow us and subscribe to our channel love bye